Hello, I'm Ted Dangelmeyer, and we're going to demonstrate voltage suppression. This tends to be a very confusing topic, and we're hoping to clarify some of the confusion here. Behind me, you'll see a schematic, and what you see on the screen are two conductive plates separated by distance D, and the plate is the upper plate is charged to 100 volts for the sake of this, this illustration. Now, with voltage suppression, if that spacing is reduced, it will force the voltage to diminish. If you look at the equation, the voltage V equals the charge Q divided by C. When we add into the equation the value of C, C is related to the distance of separation between the plates and the area in common along with this constant. So if we change D, which means we're changing the capacitance, that's going to force the voltage to change. So we reduce D, it will reduce the voltage. And here we illustrate that with the upper conductor reduced down to uh, virtually zero just separation and the voltage on that plate is zero. We bring it back to its original state and it goes back to 100 volts. In other words, the voltage on that metal disc or plate varied only because of the distance. Now, to illustrate that, we're going to use this field meter and also explain that one of the pitfalls of using a field meter, any field meter, is voltage suppression. It's one of the more significant pitfalls. Voltage suppression can give you erroneous readings or readings that are misleading without knowing it. And we're going to demonstrate that for you. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to take this metal plate, hold the field meter an inch away from the plate. I'm going to charge the plate with the other disc. And we have, as you see, a substantial reading. It's off scale. We're getting uh, 10,000 volts, almost 11,000 volts. If I bring it down to this mat, we get voltage suppression. You see the reading drop sharply. I take it away, it goes back. Bring it closer, and again, it suppresses. What's curious here is the same thing happens if you're going just onto this tablecloth. It looks virtually the same as an ESD mat. Voltage suppression will still take place. And that can be uh, surprising to most people. Now, let's take a look at this plastic document holder. I'm going to charge it with this cotton cloth. And then we're going to measure it, hold it over the field meter, and see what we get for a reading. Now we're getting a high reading. In this case, we're getting almost 16,000 volts on the plastic uh, document holder. Of course, it varies with distance. Now I'm simply going to place this on the surface, this, again, this tablecloth. And what do we get? What do you expect that we're going to get? Well, it may be surprising to you. It's virtually zero. Now, does that mean that the charge has been removed from the plastic? No. If you look at one of the other demonstrations, you'll see that won't happen. What we have here is a piece of plastic that's still charged. Voltage suppression held the reading down while it was on the surface, or it suppressed the reading because of that distance D. So if you're using this field meter and measuring objects on the workbench, you may not be getting true results. Probably aren't. Let's go one step further. Let's put a piece of paper inside this bag. And I'm going to recharge it, like so. And I'm going to bring it back to the meter to see what we get for a reading. Here, you notice it's charged to a much lower level. This is the nature and inconsistency of a 
tribal charging. But when the paper goes by it, it goes back to zero, measure the open space or the clear space, and it goes back up to, in this case, about 4,000 volts. So again, the paper, even though the paper is inside the bag, the voltage measurement is suppressed because of the mild conductivity of this paper. So what's the message here? Voltage suppression can give you erroneous readings in the factory. Therefore, you need to understand it and know how to make those measurements correctly so that you don't uh, get those misleading results. And that concludes the demonstration, and I thank you very much.